The man said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. Feels pretty good. Man, not thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He was trying to help us. Yeah, and someone died. I ain't no judge, but that's straight up murder in my book. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she just shot this other woman. Damn. What you do? My friend forgave her. Huh. And then she stole our car and left us. Oh. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group. Rebecca can have it. I won't say anything. Thanks, Clementine. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. <sighs> well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nailed down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. Just take it slow. And I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. That sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. <gasps> oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? You just told me not to look. Good point. Made it. 
You see anything? I can see the bridge. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, just do what he says. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Sure, you don't mind. It's gonna storm soon. Please come in. Denny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us? You were the one waving a gun around, man. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. 
I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. When my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. Smart girl. Hmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Looks... great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Cousin Jarrett's concert, October thirteenth, nineteen ninety eight. Reminds me of school. I haven't seen one of these since. What's this song you're humming? Good King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king and his servant march all night through a cold winter storm to reach the man. The storm is very strong. After a long time, it gets so cold that the servant can't go on. But the king tells the servant to just step in his tracks. 
Mark my footsteps, scoot my page, tread thou in them boldly. Thou shalt find the winter's rage, freeze thy blood less coldly. I don't get it. <laughs> it means that doing good things for people can be good for you too. But the servant wouldn't have been out there in the first place if the king hadn't made him. <laughs> good point. Then we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. Did he say anything about before? No. He won't talk about before I met him. Oh. Everything takes a little coaxing these days. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. He mentioned someone else. Someone else? Who? His friend. His name is Matthew. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Heck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. That's nice, I guess. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. He does seem different than I remember. In what way? I'm not sure. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny! Isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? <laughs> 